yo what's going on guys it's your boy the one and in this video i'll be showing you how to best prepare for yinlin let's get it so if you've seen my last video which was the dev note video i went over all the new incoming changes and fixes uh, and what to expect in the next month of wuwa and when it when it comes to content uh one of the things was we're going to be getting yinlin in about at the time of this recording in about four four days so this video is just to help you out so you know how to prepare for her so first things first uh let's come into here so we what we know for about yinlin is she's a rectifier uh she the weapon she uses is the rectifier and she is a uh a unit of the electro element um so yeah let's get into it so first things first her we'll go into what to farm when it comes to her skills uh so let's come into here so one thing to know is that all rectifier users in withering waves will need this helix um the adagio helix i don't know how you pronounce that so you want to farm this so you are going to want to go into the forgery challenge uh misty forest to get all these rectifier materials uh as that's just the weapon she uses so you're going to want to farm that right so that's the first thing you want to farm now for the second thing you want to farm um for her um skills let's get into it real quick is going to be this your rings right so you, you the rings are pretty much what your uh electro electro element users have so like as you can see here um for my kacharo he uses the ring and for my yan Wu right over here he uses the crew ring as well right and the way you want to get this is from fighting exiles exiles are pretty much the humanoid enemies that you, f you fight in the overworld so you want to farm them so you can get these rings um so go around farming them uh to, to so you'll be able to skill up your yinlin and now when it comes to like most of you won't have to worry about this but just for those of you who are interested um for the advanced skills right uh, units have different um, advanced skill materials that you need to farm. So what I rec, so what I recommend that you definitely farm is let's go into the guidebook. Is that the guidebook? Yep, there's a guidebook right here. No, not here. Uh, if you go into if you go into here, advanced skill materials. What you want to start farming right now is the statue of Crownless because it drops this dreamless feather and you're going to want these dreamless feathers um for yinlin's advanced skill so you can start far coming in here and farming here you only get three times you only get three um tries a week so um i pop in and do do my three runs for this week um as she uses these dreamless feathers all right um so we went over the skills um so we'll talk about the ascension materials now if you pop in here for to ascend units right you need you need first of all you need like a flower right and you need obviously a core and then a ring or some sort of item or skill or weapon material right so for yinlin the the for yinlin the flower um that you want to or herb that you want to farm for her ascension materials are going to be uh this this is called the coriolis so you're going to want the coriolis and you're going to want the hf whispering core and you're also going to want um if i can find it let me swap into the guidebook you're also going to want uh where is it oops uh boom 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 you're also going to want to start farming your mech abomination to get this the group abomination tassacore so yinlin is going to use the group abomination tassacore um the hf whispering core um 
and the flower i can't remember the name of the flower off the top of my head but yeah uh let's check it yeah and the coriolis those are the three materials that you're going to want to farm um to ascend your yinlin right and I'll, I'll right on the screen right now i'll put over how many of each you need um but i'll say it out out for you so to get to rank two you're going to need four of the four of the flower um four of the coriolis three of the abomination cores um four of the hf whispering core and then at rank three you're going to want eight of the flower six of the core and eight of the star and at rank four you're going to want 12 of the flower nine of the core and four hf whispering cores then for rank 70 most people aren't there yet you're going to want 16 flowers 12 cores and eight stars uh and then finally for rank six you're going to want 20 flowers 16 cores uh and four stars so that's pretty much um the um ascension materials so also we're going to talk about what gear sets to start farming um for yinlin so what we do know about yinlin is that she is a electro uh element unit like i said earlier so she but she's also a sub dps and and you are going to want to pair yinlin with kalcharo optimally so if you're playing her optimally in the sub dps slot you're going to run a runner as a sub dps but you would also what could run her as a as a regular dps so the first thing you could start farming is the tempest memphis if you're planning on running her with a full um void thunder electro set if you want to run a times five void thunder set you would want to start farming the tempest memphis as that's the best um void thunder four star in slot for her um but if you are planning on playing her optimally in my opinion as a sub dps unit i highly recommend you start farming the moonlit cloud set i believe one of my favorite gacha creators uh gacha smack he did talk about how the moonlit cloud set is the best set that you want on a sub dps slot um sorry is, is the best echo that you want on a sub dps unit as it pretty much gives you a, a um an increase to the main dps unit so it increase so once you use your sub dps unit and you swap into your main dps unit it's going to increase their attack so th that that set is just insane plus if you already know yinlin's kit, she, Yin, yinlin's kit she's increasing the liberation damage and the electro damage for Calcharo. but if you also run a moonlit cloud set you're also increasing the damage increase he's going to get if you switch from her to him so this is the best slot in my opinion i don't see the electro set i don't see think the electro set is going to be anywhere as good on yielding as the moonlit cloud set so you do want to start farming your impermanence heron um start farming that start doing your if you if you want to start doing your tacit discords uh start farming your moonlit cloud set or if you're just doing the overall start farming that um so yeah those are just some of the best um gear sets that i would recommend farming for yinlin as well um so yeah hopefully this video helped you out and you're now more now you now know what to do in terms of preparation for yinlin as we are getting her in about five five to four days um so yeah if this video helps you out make sure to leave a like subscribe for more with waves content uh until next time take care and peace guys